All right, welcome back to this kid's opinion, and I'm joined by Cam, also uh, known as the Spider Within on YouTube, and uh, we are here to make a uh, Deadpool Wolverine potential cameo tier list. So if you look at our tiers, we have the confirmed ones, which um, as we all know, uh, especially in the last chair, we saw that Sabretooth is confirmed, so obviously people like him will go in the confirmed, and then we have uh, our other ones, S through F. So um, yeah, we're going to kick it off with uh, Professor X. Now... I I might put him in A or B because he uh, I mean his sister is the main villain in this movie, so honestly the the intro of this movie could be like the birth of Cassandra Nova and then them battling the womb like it happens in the comics. So I'm going to lean towards probably A to be honest. Like he may not be in the movie at all except for just the intro. So I'm gonna go with A. What about you, Cam? Yeah, I think A would be a really good fit because, you know, he had a really good part in every of the X-Men movies, you know, mm -hmm. including um, the Wolverine, uh, Logan, including the Logan movies. Yeah. And he just, you know, the head of, what's it called? Uh, Professor's X School school for the Gifted? That's yeah, what it's called? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So it's very... Very likely for him to appear in this movie. Look at us agreeing. Usually we, we have to compromise all the time. <laughs> we do. All right, next up is Blade. Um, now, I, I'm i not sure which Blade could appear. Could it be the uh, the, the new like actor they're trying to do for the new Blade movie or uh, uh, the other one? I've, I don't know either of their names, but uh, either way, I think Blade could appear in this movie. I think he can maybe be a C. I don't see why he couldn't be in the in the void, just somewhere battling someone. I I would put him in D because you know we really no mention of him in the MCU so mm -hmm. far, and I mean there's been I can't even count how many phases they've gone through for the MCU, and not even mentioning him once is kind of wild. Yeah. Uh, I'll yeah I'll go I'll go with D with you because I think the only reason to put him in the movie is to like promote like the upcoming new Blade movie because there's yeah. absolutely no hype behind it they've gone through so many writers so this would be the only way to jumpstart hype for a Blade movie so uh, I'll go I'll go D with you okay all right next up is Channing Tatum's Gambit I think this is very likely I think he could be in the scene where they go to Madripoor and we meet Patch Patch uh, obviously his face is covered but he's also covering up someone as well someone is the dealer and i think it's gonna be cheney team's game bit the movie even never happened i might even go as far as s uh, how about you kim i i think he's very like likely to be in the movie you know it's they're in a casino and gambit's powers are basically cards so yeah. i mean kind of it's not a stretch at all for him to be in the movie it might not be channing tatum but it could be a variant of yeah. gambit i'll put him at s very right. likely yes it is for uh uh doesn't have to be chaining team it could just be gambit in general all right next up is mouthless deadpool from uh from uh wolverine origins i i'm actually gonna go lower on this i think it could be d because they've already done the scene where deadpool you know shoots him in the head in a post credit scene of uh deadpool 2 so i don't I think they'd do the same joke twice so but I definitely think it's definitely likely that they he does show up again as a joke. Um, I yeah, I think I'm gonna go D because they've already done the joke before. Yeah, D. It's very likely you don't really see too many side characters or really just a character that pops up for like five seconds in another movie. I mean, besides Peter, which we'll get the P we'll get the <laughs> Peter we'll, we'll soon. Get the Peter. But I uh, I actually thought originally going to this movie because um, they're they're doing the Deadpool core in this movie. I thought Headpool would be this guy because he does get his head chopped off in the movie. Uh, but it's it's not. They they release like you know pictures of Deadpool core. It's he has a mask on. So, um, it honestly maybe it is him with a mask on. So, but I'm still gonna go D because we we just don't know. Yeah, don't know if it's the actual like fame canon. Deadpool from that movie. So, yeah. I would agree. Alright, next up is Rogue. I, like, obviously Rogue and Gambit are 
linked a lot, but I I'm not sure about this one. I think I think her cameo would be more likely than a Blade or or a Malfoy's Deadpool because of her link with Gambit. She could be next to him in the casino. Uh, that would be pretty cool. So I, I'm gonna go C Rogue, but I'm not very confident on this one. I mean, I would go with B because like you don't really see X Men movies with just Gambit or just Rogue. You usually see them together. I would put her B False. because I I don't think they're obviously in the X Men '97 show they're they're a thing, but I don't think they're ever linked in the movies. Um, she's with um, Iceman, I believe. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm dumb. I haven't seen those movies in a while. Dude, they they are old, so I don't blame you there. So, um, yeah, if that if that affects your ranking at all. Um, I'll put. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that scene. Yeah, because um, yeah, she, she's not really linked to Gambit in the movies for which is pretty interesting. So I, I think she's a good ranking, but they could uh, reunite her with Gambit in the uh, Deadpool Wolverine. Yeah, or it just could be, you know, a separate world where they just work together yeah. in the X-Men. All right, next up is uh, Nicolas Cage's Ghost Rider. This could be a, uh, a very likely one because I believe you, his motorcycle is uh, in the void. Uh, like the, um, we're going to call them like the the, the, the scrap X-Men villains. I mean, they have a they have like the Red Schools uh, vehicles. They have the Ghost Rider Fantastic Four car. So I think it's very likely we see Ghost Rider. Uh, I'm going to put Ghost Rider in C. Yeah, I would also agree. Because, like, who doesn't love Nicolas Cage in every single movie? You know? I mean, he did a multiverse movie in he The did. Flash as Superman. <laughs> yeah, you I know? think that helps because he just did a multiversal movie. So He could just be a different Deadpool. He could be, be Deadpool Samurai for all I know. <laughs> yeah yeah there is that there is a i wonder who could be playing him that, that's just an interesting point yeah all right next up is a uh, one that probably isn't gonna happen but i think it's worth messaging since he was important in the x-men 97 show and he is a time traveler a multiversal guy uh it is forge uh i'm gonna put him in f i don't think they're gonna put him in because he is kind of an obscure character but because he is multi multiversal i think it's worth having him on the list uh so i'm gonna go with uh, F for a forge. Wow, that's, that's kind of poetic. F for forge. All right, the man of the hour, uh, Sir Peter. He is confirmed. He was in the um, Deadpool's birthday party scene, and uh, he was looking lavish. Um, I mean, live, laugh, love Peter. You know, we some, we got shirts of this man. Yeah, some will say, put that on a shirt. We already did. <laughs> we, uh, we kind of spent. 30 bucks on one shirt but we got two so that was 60 bucks for yeah we're gonna be wearing that to the uh to the Deadpool Wolverine movie I think we're gonna get a lot of uh a lot of cat calls with it oh yeah but Peter I mean not gonna lie we should just put Peter in his own tier the the, the Peter tier the peer the peer the peer (laughs) All right, next up is Kang the Conqueror, uh, not Jonathan Majors. I think if he is in this movie, it's obviously going to be recast. They're going to recast him. Uh, does he appear in this movie? I think in the post credit scene is very likely because this movie is definitely going to set up Secret Wars. I mean, the the little comic is in the first trailer. Mm-hmm. Um, and Kang would be the villain of that movie. So I think there could be a chance that maybe Deadpool Wolverine in the post credit scene meet, meet the Council of Kings. Or maybe... Um, they get to Battle World that's already been created by the Council of Kings. Who knows? So I think it is kind of likely. I think it's more likely than a Rogue or Ghost Rider cameo. So for me, I'm going to go B for a King appearing in this movie. Probably a post credit yeah. scene. Yeah, B seems a lot more fitting for him because, you know, as we have Professor X and A, he Professor X is more likely than King to appear in this movie. And just whatever is happening in the MCU at this moment, I mean, it's kind of messy with Kang at the moment. So it could really be yes or no. So yeah, I it's, feel it's, like, it's either B or F with him. Yeah, so I feel like B would be a good middle ground of 
it's a yes or a no. Yeah. All right. Next up is Evan Pierce Quicksilver, who uh, was one of my favorite moments from the uh, the newer X Men movies. I, I enjoyed his character. Uh, I think he could. Oh, because I th- I think he was underutilized, and I could definitely see Ryan Reynolds be wanting to use him. I just don't know where he'd fit in. Maybe he is a part of the the Anarchy Avengers. Um, but it's. I was thinking C. You're thinking C. I'm gonna go C with yeah. him. I'm just struggling to see where he'd fit in in the plot. Mm-hmm. So I, th- I think C is uh, good for uh, Quicksilver. Yeah, I would say same thing. All right, Edward Norton's Hulk. This one I'm I'm pretty confident in. Uh, we also do have like regular like Bruce Banner Hulk in the, in this video, but I I really think they would lean towards an Edward Norton. Hulk appearance if Hulk does appear in this movie, which I do think they will. I mean, I, I don't see why they want to miss the opportunity to do Wolverine versus Hulk, one of the classic comics. It's been adapted in uh, like little short films that Marvel's created. I, I think it's very likely Edward, Edward Norris Hulk's going to show up. A uh, very underrated movie. I, I quite enjoyed the uh, Incredible Hulk movie, so I, I, I like his chances. I'm gonna, I want to put him in A. What about you, Cam? I mean, I... Personally, I've not seen the Incredible Hulk movie, and yeah, we do see the the bed from Ragnarok in there, mm-hmm. you know. And obviously, it's Hulk's bed. It could be a possibility that both Hulks, um, you know, yeah, Edward imagine Norton's both of them and, going going against each other. Yeah, kind of like a was it Planet Hulk type situation, kind of. Yeah. So maybe, you know, after the next two phases, we'd get a Planet Hulk movie, hopefully. I would love to see um, Red Hulk eventually. So Yeah, I, I think he's supposed to be in the, uh, the uh, next Captain America movie because Ross is uh, going to be the president. Yeah, so it, we could be seeing a Planet Hulk movie. We could not... I mean, we already have Hulk's son. I forgot his name. Of uh, Scar. Scar. So, I mean, they're kind of building up. That we already have She-Hulk. So, I feel like we should move the MCU Hulk up into A as well, since we are we are talking about Hulk and, you know. And it's, it's just very, very likely for both of them. Or at yeah. least one of them to show up. Yeah, it would be a huge missed opportunity. Yeah. And I, I guess to go along with the Hulk theme, uh, let's just go ahead and get She-Hulk out of the way. I, um, I'm i going to put She-Hulk in F. Um, maybe D, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go F. I don't think she's going to be in this movie. I've seen multiple reports where Kevin Feige and uh, the actor were trying to get into this movie, uh, get She-Hulk into the movie, but Ryan Reynolds uh, did not want her in the movie. I actually think there is, like, they did get... Um, her in the movie but i think with the recent reshoots they did uh in may i think they totally got rid of her so i, I think i'm gonna go f for she hulk uh she does break the fourth wall by like deadpool but nobody likes she hulk i don't see why they put her in this movie yeah i totally agree i if this was like you know references that you know deadpool wolverine or whatever character makes i that would go high on the tier list because yeah, you know, I d- you you could definitely see Deadpool making a fourth wall joke about She Hulk. Oh yeah, for Some sure. Some kind of jab at her. But uh, an actual cameo, that's so unlikely. If so, it's probably just to even shit on her or kill her. And <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> yeah, that would just like have her talk to the camera, and then he's like, "Um, what are you doing? That only I can do that. This town ain't big enough for the two of us." Exactly. All right. Next up is everybody's favorite, uh, Wong. So uh, someone's opening the portal. Is it Cassandra Nova? Is it Doctor Strange? Is it Wong? Is it Ned? That is a big question. But uh, I like. I think Wong might be more likely than Doctor Strange because mm-hmm. he is trying to set up the Avengers lineup, and um, he he could be the one to bring Deadpool Wolverine into the MCU. Who knows that that's what the portal and the trailer was. So. I, I kind of like the chances of Wong. I think he would be a good C. I feel, I feel like I feel like B though. I'm B? Not gonna lie. I'll go B. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I like B because the reason I'm putting King in here is because I think he's going to bring Wolverine and Deadpool somewhere. So I, same case for Wong. Yeah, because yeah, I feel like B is good for Wong and then Dark String probably a tier lower because, you know, Wong has been doing his everything to protect the multiverse at this point. We yeah. still don't know where Doctor Strange is. Yeah, I, Dark Dimension. If that if he's already in there, um, that's, that's he got the where... he got he got the eye. He's um, got the third uh, eye. incredibly uh, CGI, just be- beautiful third eye. Oh yeah, but I, I feel like B would be a good because it, it could be a yes, it could be a no, it could be just someone that's just opening portals that. That's a student that just doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah. All right. Next up is Tony Stark. Me personally, I'm going to go F. I just don't see where he fit into this movie. If he was going to make any appearance before Secret Wars, it would have been a multiverse of madness where Ultron was successful. It would have been like he would have been the Illuminati, but for some reason, the Illuminati was just terrible. I think it would be really good. They had uh, Tony Stark. Doesn't have to be Robert Downey Jr., but I think if it would have been any movie he'd be in. It would have been Doctor Strange 2. I don't just I just don't see where he'd fit into this movie. Yeah, I mean, I could be wrong, but it I, I'm pretty sure his contract ended with Marvel. Um, we talked about this early, but, you know, we were talking about how in interviews, RDJ said that he would gladly come back. But mm-hmm. for for this movie, especially it being like a major box um base film of fox but like with a hint of marvel in it in the, the mcu mm-hmm. i feel like bringing such a big iconic mcu character right into like a fox film immediately would be yeah, kind of this is kind of fox's send-off so i think so it, it wouldn't really make sense to, you know, bring the face of Marvel into it. This this is truly a Fox love letter with, you know, like like you said, Sprinkles MCU. Like, I think Hulk's going to be showing up, uh, you know, Kang. So, yeah, I, I agree with you there. I, I think there's no chance Iron Man's going to be in this movie. Yeah. All right. Another uh, confirmed is uh, Juggernaut. He's very visible in the, tra- in the, uh, the trailers. And it's good to have him. He was... <laughs> He was a he was a cornball in X Men: The Last Stand, and why not bring him back? Because uh, he is kind of an ic- iconic character. Yeah, um, I remember the actor said that he did not want to come back, especially being in that suit, which was just kind of torture for him. Yeah. So I don't think the original actor is coming back to play him. If anything, if it was like you know, kind of last minute, they'll probably do ryan reynolds again exactly because he he does voice juggernaut in deadpool 2 yeah. so i get i definitely see ryan reynolds playing juggernaut so i i mean you we already see in the footage in the trailers that it is juggernaut so just don't know who we, exactly we don't know who who is gonna play juggernaut at all all right, next up is Ben Affleck's Daredevil. This is an interesting one because another confirmed character in this movie is uh, Jennifer Garner's Elektra, who was the uh, you know the love interest of Daredevil in the uh, Daredevil film. Um, it's just, does Ben Affleck want to come back to the MCU? Does Marvel want Ben Affleck? It's it's kind of tricky. Like I, I mean, if Elektra's in it, why not Daredevil? But it's just Ben Affleck is the issue here. Um, so I I'm, think I I'm feeling D. S- D, yeah, I yeah. definitely don't think there's you know he's he's F. He could show up with Elektra, but I I think he's same level as like Blade. Yeah, I see more of a reference, you know, to like if um, Deadpool and Elektra are talking. Deadpool can make a reference to, you know, the DCEU. They're saying, like, oh, you loved Batman or something along the lines. Exactly, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, another point. I, uh, they've already done the, 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 uh, DC and Batman jokes with Cable. I don't see why they do it again with Ben Affleck. Yeah, because, you know, with Ryan Reynolds or just Deadpool in general, there is no limits to what he 
will say. Yeah. So, I, yeah, definitely reference. He could make an appearance, but I, I don't think it's likely. Mm, yeah. Another confirmed one is Sabretooth. And uh, funny enough, so I, I forgot to mention, uh, I uh, if you go to the community tab of my channel, I made a bunch of uh, Deadpool Wolverine bingo cards. So, you know, if you want to spice up your uh, your viewing experience uh, with your friends, you know, just go go to the, uh, the, the community tab, print out the bingo cards, and, uh, yeah, make your experience more fun. But yeah, speaking of that, I um I was making I I was making the bingo, bingo cards, finished them. I added Sabretooth. The next day, the trailer confirms Sabretooth. So co- I don't know where coincidence. Yeah, and was I was just... already suspecting he'd be in there, but it's good to see that he's actually going to be in there. Yeah, because it was basically all the trailer footage that we already saw. Just um, with that one scene. I mean, that I think there was like other scenes as well that I added that were new, but like. What was like a big part was Sabretooth, and that was just out of nowhere. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, and I love how Deadpool's saying, people have been waiting for this for decades. Exactly. And so, him being in the movie is great, you know, the iconic hero and villain, Wolverine, Sabretooth, you yeah, gotta well, love they, it. They, actually, they got the villain version. Um, this is so. This definitely is because it's kind of weird. So in the uh, the origin movies for Wolverine, Sabretooth was his brother, but he's not in the X Men films. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if they're gonna address that at all. But it seems like Sabretooth is not very uh, keen on being a brother of Wolverine in this uh, certain scene. Yeah. So Henry Cavill. Yeah, Henry Cavill. So people for. Uh, I've been wanting him to play uh, Patch. Uh, he would be uh, Wolverine's Patch. Uh, that and Daniel Radcliffe. So I guess we'll just put these two together. Um, I, I think either one of these guys. I, it's either one of these guys for me. It's just either one of these guys is going to be, you know, like a B or like A. And the other one's going to be an F. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, who do you, you think is going to be Patch? I feel like Daniel's going to be Patch. I see him more more patch than anything i think he could pull it off better i don't know why but it's just like i could just see him being in that suit and being all pimped out he looks more like a wolverine variant than henry cavill yeah so are we gonna put henry in f i i feel like i feel like d d because like it, there, there could be a chance Mm-hmm, I agree. So, d- where do we want to put Daniel Radcliffe? Because I I do think he will be Patch. I feel like right there is fine. Yeah, B. Yeah, actually, bump it up to A. Let's, let's bump up to A. Yeah. The fans have been wanting it for years. You already know Ryan Reynolds is aware of what the fans want. He's going to try to get Daniel Radcliffe as Patch. Oh, yeah. Next up is Thor. I'm going to put Thor in S because there is footage uh, of the movie where Paradox is showing Deadpool like the future. And one of them has it where Thor is a uh, holding Deadpool like he's holding Loki when he died. But but, but it's Deadpool, not Loki. So uh, that's confirmed in the movie in, in, the tr- in like the movie. But they did do reshoots. Maybe they take the scene out. So it would be confirmed, but who knows? So I'm gonna put him in S in case they do take that part of the movie out. Yeah, I I see Thor being in the, in this movie with you know Deadpool going through the multiverse, especially with a big scene like Loki dying, especially mm-hmm. in that uh, scene right there that you were talking about. So yeah, we'll put him in S. Yeah. All right, next up is uh, Magneto. I definitely think Magneto could be in this movie. I think he could be very important. I I definitely think Deadpool Wolverine are going to initially try to attack Cassandra Nova, fail miserably, and then they got to go recruit the, Anar- er, the uh, Anarchy Avengers. So I think Magneto is going to be one of the first recruits since he is one of the most powerful beings uh, in the entire universe. So I, I like the idea of Magneto potentially being an S. Yeah, and especially in our... Last Deadpool and Wolverine video, we made a big stretch with Fortnite <laughs> and the Deadpool movie being a, a big part and, you know, Magneto's uh, the skin in the game. So, yeah, I was, mean, the promotion Magneto right is, there. Yeah. 
I mean, we're, we're going to be in a wasteland. For some reason, they're having a wasteland Magneto skin. So, you the, know. The promotion. And they're coming out with a uh, new Wolverine skin in Fortnite that just got leaked. So, they're really trying to promote this movie as best as they can. Yeah, so I definitely think Mad News is going to be there with that, with, with Cam's theory in there too. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a stretch. So, I, I think Mad Nino could be an S. Oh, yeah. Next up, Mobius. Wow. Wow. I don't think he's going to be in this movie. And here's why. I think for every single universe, there's a different TVA. That's why there's absolutely no X-Men references in the Loki TV show because it's their TVA, it's their universe. However, Deadpool's going to be in the Fox um, TVA because that seems like what the entire Void is uh, with some uh, other you know, uh, Marvel guys. Um, so I don't think Mobius is going to be in this movie. Maybe they briefly go to our TVA universe for a second and there's Mobius. Um, yeah. That's the only way I, I see him in this movie. Yeah, don't really see it like you said different tva so you're not gonna see the og ogs in there you're not gonna see sylvie you're not gonna see loki off in the distance in the tva space whatever that's called all right next up is storm i think storm could be a very good option uh, especially the howie barry version she was definitely done dirty uh, by the former directors of the X Men movie, so I see definitely see Sean Levy, uh, Ryan Reynolds wanting to uh, do do her diligence and put her in this movie as part of the the uh, Anarchy Avengers. So I I think B I think she, she could definitely show up in this movie. Oh yeah, she she could. Yeah, I I feel like B is a really good choice for Storm. Next up is Doctor Strange. I don't think he's going to be in this movie. I think it's more likely Wong. Doctor Strange is in the Dark Dimension. That's where he went to at the end of Doctor Strange 2. I don't see where... I don't... Yeah, I think he's doing some side quests. I might even put him in F. I just don't see where he fit in. I think Wong is way more likely. I, I would put him in D just because of the um the portals. Because you really just don't know who, who it is, if I'm being honest. I mean... But we haven't really got any updates after, um, what was it, No Way Home or Multiverse? Uh, Multiverse of Madness came after, yeah. All right, yeah, we didn't really have any confirmation of what he was doing or, you know, where he is after Multiverse. I agree. All right, up next is Cable, and Josh Brolin has been saying he's not in this movie, but I think that's BS after, I mean, I can't trust an actor after Andrew Garfield. You know, same exact yeah. movie. I definitely don't see why he wouldn't be in this movie because, like, Deadpool literally uses time travel device to, you know, go back in time. I definitely see Cable getting mad about that. I can even see him try to basically hunt down, like, Deadpool and throughout this entire movie. I think that'd be a cool little uh, thing to add in this movie, like, every 30 minutes to show Cable, like, tracking <laughs> down Deadpool Wolverine. Um, so I, I think he, for me, I think he's gonna be in B. Yeah, if anything, I feel like he would just be you know, like in the first couple minutes or like the first act yelling at Deadpool for just using his time travel device. Yeah, I don't see him being a big plot point in this movie. Yeah, so I, I definitely feel I, I definitely feel for like a B as well. All right, next up is Lady Deadpool. I'm gonna throw her an S. I think you're gonna agree too. Um, what Deadpool uses, um, Uzis, it's only Lady Deadpool. And yeah, I mean, th I think in the latest trailer, they showed a, a very uh, female walking Deadpool. So it's going to be Lady Deadpool. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't put in confirmed because, you know, we don't, didn't really see yeah the face or the mask of Lady Deadpool. So it's not technically confirmed that she is. So... S would be the only other option for us and you know you can't have you know a Deadpool movie especially a multiverse variant movie without you know Lady Deadpool yeah completely agree 
All right, next up is a personal favorite of mine that could happen. It is um, Chris Evans, Human Torch, who he played way back in the day as Human Torch. I think... I'm going to say A because he was in... I forget which movie it was. I think it was Fall Guy. He made a cameo, which was a Ryan Reynolds movie. Yep. And I don't see why not you know, play a, 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 little, a little joke for a, for a movie that was pretty bad, Fantastic Four. And I don't see him coming back as Captain America, um, so why not do Human Torch? Yeah, as um, far as I know, that you know Ryan Reynolds and Chris Evans are good friends, so yeah. why not put one of your friends, uh, another Marvel colleague, into a really big movie of the year, trying to make some money off of it, you know? Yeah. And he could yeah. reference Captain America, for all I know, to Chris <laughs> Evans. For sure, and uh, there is the Fantastic Four car in the void that the uh, yeah that uh, Cassandra Nova's people are using. All right, next up is Doctor Doom. This one's pretty interesting. Will he be the new bad the MCU? Is it still going to be King? Yet to be unknown. You know, a theory of mine. I think Doctor Doom is going to show up in the next Doctor Strange movie because his face looks a lot like Dormammu, and I think Dormammu could be like an avatar for him. You know. Yeah. Um, so I think we're going to see Doctor Doom. I don't know if it's going to be in this movie, but it's hard to say because the Secret Wars comic had Doctor's face, Doctor Doom's face on it in the first ever trailer for this movie. So they could be hinting at him being the villain of Secret Wars. It could be him instead of Kang that mm. uh, creates Battle World. So that that's the case for him B. But I, 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 I'm going to go with C because it's less likely than Kang, in my opinion. They've already built up Kang. They haven't set up anything with Doctor Doom. I mean, I I would do B because if they do decide to scrap the Kang route, the only person that could do Secret Wars is Doctor Doom. So they could do like a little teaser trailer for Fantastic Four, for all I know, and have Doctor Doom be in it. Yeah, so it, it's a tricky position. Uh, hmm, C or C or B cam. I, f- I feel like we should put him in where Kang, because he. Yeah, because it's could... either him or Kang, so I agree. With that, yeah. yeah. All right, next up is uh, another confirmed one Electra from the Daredevil movie, uh, Jennifer Gardner. She. Um, pretty interesting, she's going to be in this movie. You know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking now, because uh, if she's in this movie, that means her universe is pruned, which has Daredevil in it, so it, it makes it more likely. That he's gonna be in there but i mean it is ben affleck so that's why it is uh, less likely but she's gonna be in this movie she'll probably be part of the anarchy avengers so it'll be good to see her uh back as electra all right next up is loki i i think we should put him above mobius since he is more prevalent he's basically holding the entire multiverse together yeah. uh, but i think he's basically the same as mobius uh where I, we're not gonna be seeing his version of the tva in this movie yeah, or, you know, just for a second, just have Loki kind of freaking out of like, oh, what is happening with the multiverse, with the MCU? Yeah, so, it's pretty cool just paying the, paying the Loki, just examining what's going on. Or just show the tree and, like, you see, like, the Loki silhouette. Yeah, um, like imagine, like imagine seeing like one of the branches just fall because of like the actions of the characters in this movie. Because mm-hmm, there's gonna be a lot that should not be happening in this movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, next up is a uh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh Jesus! Will she be uh. Dazzler? Eh. Look, it's very likely since Ryan Reynolds is great friends, especially his wife. They're they're besties. Mm-hmm. One of the trailers had Deadpool Wolverine Friendship Brace Braces, which is synonymous with Taylor Swift. Um, and you know, one of the, the 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 very last lyric of her album was dazzling, you know, it's everything's leading up towards it. Taylor Swift would make this a billion dollar movie. It, I, yeah. But I also see Marvel fans getting upset with just Taylor Swift being in Marvel. I agree. And it could be a situation, you know, like Multiverse of Madness, where uh, this is just never even a possibility. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, 
I, I like like Tom I feel Cruise more as uh, Iron Man was a big yeah popular opinion going to the Multiverse of Madness. I I would put D. You're going it, all the way to ha- D. Yeah, I I, I don't I don't I, see Taylor Swift being in the movie if I'm being honest. I'm thinking C. There there's there there's there's too much evidence. There's too much evidence. Hmm. I still who, who is more likely to appear in this movie? Henry Cavill or Taylor Swift? Oh, you're getting me with this one. Exactly. Uh, okay. Oh. We'll put them at, we'll, we'll reorganize it, but we're, we're going to put it at the bottom of C. How about that? All right. All right. Next up is a Cyclops. I could very well see him in this movie. I think as likely as a storm cameo. Um, mm-hmm. He's the leader of the X-Men. Honestly, we could put him in a, he's a leader of the X-Men. Why wouldn't he be in the farewell X-Men movie? Yeah. And I could see him being with professor X as well. Cause like Cyclops and professor X are literally two piece in a pod. They're tight. Exactly. Yeah, he's, so, a fa- he's a father figure. Exactly. For, uh, for Cyclops. So I, I see Cy- Cyclops and Professor X being in the same scene together. Yeah. And I think it would be hilarious if we see Cyclops, Storm, uh, uh, Wolverine, all in their uh, their yellow and the blue X-Men uniforms. Oh, yeah. Um, because, you know, it, it is funny in the original X-Men movies, they're in their all black boring uniforms. Mm-hmm. And uh, Cyclops in the f- first X-Men movie does say, to Wolverine, what did you expect? Like yellow spandex for our costumes? <laughs> I think that would be a hilarious callback if they if they do end up in yellow spandex in this movie. Yeah. All right. Next up is one that I want to put an S, and that is Daphne King as uh, is it X twenty two or twenty three? I don't know. I think she's gonna be um back uh, for sure. I mean, Larry, in one of the scenes, uh, Wolverine's talking to someone and saying "kid," like. Why wouldn't it be her? It makes sense. I definitely see Deadpool going back to Logan's grave. I think um, uh, Laura could be there to, you know, guard his grave. They are going back to the same wooded area that Logan died in. We yeah. already see a car that's already flipped. It could be a little bit before everything, or they could have just messed up the whole scene in general and made the car go somewhere else where yeah, who knows and the canon timeline should have not have been but i do see i'm pretty sure it's x22 being yeah. in we'll just call her laura yeah i'm i see laura being in in this movie i agree and the last one we have is the punisher i'm gonna go d of punisher uh, it could be a variety, but there's been a lot of Punishers over the years, so it doesn't really matter for me which one. I I could definitely see Punisher uh, showing up like randomly in the void. Same thing with Blade. Like I definitely see him higher up uh, here. Uh, maybe them fighting each other. I think that'd be pretty cool. Two assassins. Uh, but yeah. it, I don't know. I I'm feeling less confident about Rogue the more this video goes on. I kind of want to throw Rogue in the D because she has no relationship with Gambit at all in the movies. Yeah, but it could be a universe where they are together because it is a this is going to be a multiverse movie. True, but I, I think Blade and Punisher are more likely than Rogue. Really? I do. Rogue's way more unknown. Uh, I would. I think she's more likely than Henry Cavill. Yeah. But I think I think mouth pull or uh, no mouth pull would be more likely. Yeah, for so. sure. All right, so there's adjustment there. Who were we just talking about? We were talking about Punisher. Yeah, I, I could just see him randomly fighting someone in the void. Could even be in the background. They couldn't even don't even acknowledge him. I don't know. I just I could definitely see uh, him sm- maybe in the movie, but not really. I could see him as just like a background character of. You know, just the, his typical shirt with the skull, you know. 
just mm-hmm. fighting in the background with some random guy. Yeah. No dialogue, right. just background character. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's let's, uh, let's reorganize it all. Um, like if we don't need to for confirmed, but for S, uh, I feel I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, I f- late Deadpool is probably higher up than Thor. I feel like it, I feel like late Deadpool should be S. Should be at the top of S. Like yeah, top of yeah, S. Yeah, I agree. No, I agree. No, no. I feel like Laura should be in between Gambit and. Yeah. Honestly, she's probably more likely than Gambit. Yeah. Right. I like that S. What about A? I think I think I think Cyclops is more likely than uh, Chris Evans. Yeah. And then probably more likely than Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, but I yeah. definitely think Hulk, either Hulk's gonna be in the movie. Yeah, either one. Or just Bruce Banner in general. Yeah. Alright, as for B, uh, I think Cable belongs at the bottom. Um, might be good, honestly. Yeah, I... C, yeah. uh... Ghost Rider probably most likely out of C. Especially if it's Nicolas Cage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe, okay. maybe swap Loki of Quicksilver. Yeah. All right. D. Uh. I, I like D. What about you? Why well, should uh Mobius? I feel like we should drop Henry Cavill all the way at the bottom. I agree. Other than that, and then F doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess She Hulk's most likely out of these. Yeah. Yeah, and then I feel like, yeah. So that does it with our uh, potential cameos for the upcoming Deadpool Wolverine movie. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and also make sure to check out Cam's channel. And don't forget to uh, check out the uh, the bingo cards as well. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. But hey, I'm just a kid, and this is my opinion. <laughs>